Aquatics here. Today I want to talk a little bit about good housekeeping in the fish room or in your aquarium. That's research and there are some pathogens or bacteria that can be present in your aquariums and I wanted to offer some advice on ways to keep the risk to a minimum. The three most common ones that I found are the Mycobacterium Marinum or fish TB, uh, Aeromonas, and Salmonella, which most of you have probably heard of. Now, some of these can enter through open wounds or cuts on your hands or arms. Some can be ingested, you know, and cross contamination with food or, you know, put your hands in your mouth, uh, mouth siphoning your tanks. I usually put a rag or something over the siphon tube when I do that just to kill kind of eliminate that risk. But one of the key things that you should do whenever you've done tank maintenance, aquarium maintenance, is wash your hands when you're done. That's gonna keep you from exposing yourself to the bacteria or pathogens that can be present in your aquarium. Another thing you can do, and I know not everyone's going to have the availability of different sinks or areas in your home, but I don't recommend cleaning your filters or draining tank water in your kitchen sink. Just due to the fact that that's a food prep area, it's a common area for people to be, and you risk putting or contaminating those areas or cross-contaminating those areas with possible bacteria from your tanks or filters. You do have to use your kitchen sink. I recommend you know using a disinfectant wipe, just cleaning the area real well when you're done, sanitizing it to eliminate any bacteria that could be present after the maintenance. Another good item that I've found is these gloves. These go all the way to the shoulder, and anytime I have a cut or scrape on my hand or arm, I will wear these. That is very common way for these path pathogens or bacteria to enter your body is through those open wounds or cuts. So using something like this when you're doing maintenance is going to eliminate the possibility of any of those pathogens or bacteria entering your body. I also use those if I've taken a shower. It keeps me from contaminating the tank with soap or anything like that. So those are excellent. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in getting those, those are on Amazon and they're less than $15. So another thing you can do is just monitor your fish's health. If they're acting sick or just not normal, maybe use a little more caution. If you have a quarantine tank with a sick fish in there, maybe implement those gloves. Just use more caution just in case there's something with that fish or in the water that could be bad for you. Also, if you do notice symptoms, you know, gastrointestinal issues that you haven't had before, or you notice a sore or a cut on your hand that just looks infected or not good, when you go to the doctor, make sure you let them know that you do keep aquariums in the home, you are a fish keeper. A lot of this stuff can go misdiagnosed and that is actually key information that you can provide to your doctor so that you get the proper diagnosis and the proper treatment in case it is due to one of those pathogens or bacteria. So I didn't do this video to scare you or scare you out of the hobby. This stuff is rare, but it is present at times. So I just wanted to share the information with you and I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. See, here's, here's the gloves that Maximus Aquatics was talking about. See, these go all the way to the shoulder. I like to use these when I'm playing with my fish. You can see he's got some, he's got some sharp teeth, but he lets me touch him. He, he likes it, see? Look at that, man, that's a, that's a nice fish right there. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, he likes to stay up at the surface. Sometimes he tries to bite me, but that's why I wear these. These work good. But yeah, right. Oh, oh man, it got me. Oh man, that looks deep. That's to the bone.
Oh man, somebody better give me a band-aid. <laughs>